Hello children, once again it's English time and I'm here with a new English lesson for you. But first let me show you something which I have brought for you. Look at this. Do you know what is this? This is a camel. See how different it looks from the other animals because of its big hump. But you know the camel is very very proud of its hump. In today's lesson, we're going to see what happened when a camel met the king of the jungle, the lion. But first, let us find out the heads under which we're going to cover the lesson. Ready? Let's see. We'll be doing the lesson under these heads. Pronunciation, word meanings, reading and understanding the text and the exercises. We need to practice pronouncing some difficult words of the lesson so that we can read the lesson easily. I'm going to show you a list of words and I'll read out the spellings and pronounce them. You follow by listening very very carefully. Ready? Are you? Okay. A F F E C T effect. Once more, effect. Next word. T O N G U E tongue. Repeat after me. Tongue. Next word. D E S E R T desert. Once more. Desert. Good. A F R A I D. Afraid. Once more, repeat after me. Afraid. Good. E N J O Y. Enjoy. The word is enjoy. Next word. N a T U R E Nature Once more listen carefully This is nature And the last word is S T O M A C H Stomach This is a difficult word Listen very carefully again Stomach Now that we have done our pronunciation work, we should know the meaning of some more difficult words. So that when we read the lesson, the lesson will become very, very clear to us. So once again, I'll show you a list of words and we'll be finding out their meanings. Ready? Are you? Okay, let's begin. This is our first word. The word is desert. Desert is a region with no vegetation due to low rainfall. Because there is very very little rainfall. This is Registan. Next word is thorny bushes. Aise bushes jin pe kaate hoon. Bushes with thorns. These are thorny bushes. Next word is padded feet. Padded feet means the fleshy under part of the paw. To make this clearer, I'll show you a picture. In the picture, you can see the paw of a lion. The fleshy part is the padded feet. Okay, next word is available. Available means something which can be obtained. Aisi cheez jo hume aaram se mil sakti hai. Next word is main. Once more, I'd like you to look at the picture. Main is the hair on the neck of a lion. Look at the picture, you'll see the lion which has got hair around its neck. That is the mane of the lion. 
Next word, afraid of. Afraid of means frightened of. Jesse dar lagta hai. All the animals of the jungle are afraid of the lion. Next word is prick. Prick means pierce lightly. Okay, I'll show you what prick means. Look very carefully what prick means. Here I have a pin and I am pricking my hand with this pin. That is, I am piercing lightly. This is called prick. Okay. We come to our last word. Our last word is enjoy. Enjoy means to take joy in. Koi bhi aisi cheez jisme hume anand aata ho. Something which we enjoy doing. Enjoy. These were our word meanings. We have done our pronunciation drill. We have also found out the meanings of some difficult words. Now we are ready to read our lesson. Aren't we? Okay. So now we will be reading the lesson. You'll see the text on your screens and I'm going to read very slowly and you can listen carefully and follow. Ready? Are you? Okay. Let's begin. Camel. Good morning. Lion. Good morning. Camel. Look, I am so high. People call me the ship of desert. Lion. Grrr, grrr. How can you be the ship of a desert? A ship can sail on water. A camel cannot. Besides, it is not possible to sail on a desert. Camel, I can walk, I can run in the desert. No other animal can do this. What happened? One day, a lion met a camel. They wished each other good morning and then the camel told the lion, I am the ship of the desert. Now the lion said, how can you be the ship of the desert? The ship sails on water and you are a camel. You cannot sail on water. Let's find out what the camel told the lion. Lion. Really? But the sand in the desert is very hot. Does it not burn your feet? Camel. I have padded feet and therefore the desert, I mean the hot sand, does not burn my feet. Lion, I have padded feet too, but I admit I cannot walk in desert. Camel, it is because I have thick padded feet. Look at them. Lion, oh I see. So it is because of your thick padded feet that you can walk so easily in the desert. When the camel said that he could walk easily in the desert, the lion was very surprised. He said, how can you walk in the desert? So the camel told the lion that he had thick padded feet. Now the lion said, how is it possible? I also have thick padded feet. I can't walk in the desert. So the camel told him, No, but I have very thick padded feet. This the lion believed. Let us read what happened next. Camel, I have a hump too. I am proud of my hump. Lion, I don't have a hump and I don't think it looks nice. Why should you be proud of it? I don't care for your hump. Look, I have a mane. Have you got a mane? Let's see what happened next. Camel, what's the use of mane? Can you store food in your mane? 
I can store food in my hump and therefore I am proud of it. I have a big stomach also. The camel said that he had big padded feet and he could walk in the desert. Next he told the lion that he had a hump and he was very proud of the hump. Now the lion couldn't take this easily. He said, what, what is there to be proud of? It looks so ugly. Eh? Look at the hump on the back of an animal. I don't like the hump. I have big mane. See what beautiful I look with a mane. The camel said, oh, your mane. What use has the mane? You cannot store food in the mane. Tum apne mane mein khana ikatha nahi kar sakte. I can store food in my hump. It is useful. Then he said that uh, I also have a big stomach. Let's see what the lion felt after this. Ready? Lion. So what? I have a big stomach too. Camel. Can you drink 200 bottles of water at a time? Lion. No, I no, I can't. Every day I go to a river or a lake and drink water. Why should I drink so much water at a time when I can get fresh water every day? Camel. Yes, but I need to store water because I have to walk in the desert where no fresh water is available. Now what happened? The camel told the lion that he had a big stomach. The cam lion said, I also have a big stomach. So what? Now the camel said, oh, you may be having a big stomach, but can you drink 200 bottles of water? The lion was thoughtful. Hmm? Why should I drink 200 bottles of water? I go to the river every day and I drink as much water as I want. Fresh water every day. Hmm, who wants your bottle of water? So the camel told him, No, I don't get water in the desert. So I have to store a lot of water in my big stomach. Again, the lion heard this, but he did not reply. Let's see what the camel told the lion next. The camel said, I have a thick tongue. I can eat thorny bushes. Can you eat them? I like them very much, lion. Why should I eat thorny bushes? I am not a fool like you. There is no sense in hurting one's mouth by eating thorny bushes. I eat meat. I like goat's meat the most. It is so soft and nice. The camel told the lion that he had a thick tongue. Now the lion said, oh, oh now he has a thick tongue. He had a hump. He had a big stomach. Now he has a thick tongue. Again, he looked at the camel. What will I do with a thick tongue? So the camel told him, I have a thick tongue so I can eat thorny bushes. There is nothing in the desert. He can eat the thorny bushes. Now the lion said, hmm, who wants your thorny bushes? I don't want to eat those thorny bushes. I, do, I will not eat it. I love to eat the goat's meat. I will eat the goat meat. It's so soft. It is so soft. I will eat the goat's meat. I will not eat any thorny bushes. Now what the camel said to the lion next, we'll have to read to find out. Camel said, look Mr. Lion, I eat thorny bushes because only thorny bushes are available in the desert. And I enjoy eating them. Nature has made me such that thorny bushes neither prick 
my tongue nor hurt my mouth. What did the camel tell the lion? He said that I have a thick tongue so that I can eat something in the desert. Mother Nature, God, He has made me so that I can eat the thorny bushes in the desert where nothing else grows. The lion can eat the goat because he can get the goat. The camel does not eat meat, so he has to eat the thorny bushes which grow in the desert. Okay, let's read the next part. Lion, I am the king of the jungle. All the animals are afraid of me. I rule over them and they work for me. Camel, oh, now I know why you roar so loudly. So you are the king of the jungle. Tell me how it should affect me. The lion, he had heard enough of the nonsense. He had heard the lion, had, the camel has a big stomach. He has a hump and he can eat thorny bushes. Now he didn't want to hear anymore. He said, okay, Mr. Camel, I am the king of the jungle. And all the other animals, they are afraid of me. What did the camel say? Camel ne kaha, okay, ab pata chala. You roar so loudly, itna zor se daharte ho, that all the animals are afraid of you. Okay, fine. But what the effect does this have on me? Now what did the lion tell the camel? Let's read. Lion, well, Mr. Camel, you be happy with your thick tongue, your padded feet, and your funny hump. I am happy as I am. Camel, I am also happy as I am. I don't care if you are the king of jungle. I am surely the ship of the desert and I am happy about it. Lion, goodbye Mr. Ship of the Desert. Goodbye, king of the jungle. The lion and the camel, they had talked enough. The lion said, okay, Mr. Camel, fine. You have a thick tongue, you have padded feet, you have a big stomach, you have a hump. Okay, fine. You be happy as you are and I am happy as I am. With my mane, I look so Lordly, I'm the king of the jungle. I am happy as I am. You be happy as you are. So they both wished each other and they parted ways. The camel said, Goodbye, the king of the jungle. And the lion said, Okay, goodbye, the ship of the desert. And they both went their way. So that was our lesson. We have read our lesson. We've understood our lesson and now we come to the exercise. This is the first exercise. Here you can see a few sentences written. You have to read the sentences and find out whether they are true or false. If they are true, then we will mark T. If they are wrong, we will mark F. T for true and F for false. Let's start with the first sentence. The sand in the desert is very hot. Is it hot or is it cold? We have learnt in the lesson that it is very hot. Desert ki sand bahut garam hai. So this sentence is true. So we are going to mark true. Tick on the true. Next sentence. Mr. Lion could eat thorny bushes. Could he? No. He used to eat the meat of the goat. So this sentence is false. So we will make a tick mark on F. Next one. The camel can drink 200 bottles of water at a time. Yes, this is true. The camel can drink. So we will mark a tick on the true. Next one. The lion has padded feet. 
Yes, I have shown you the picture of the lion with the padded feet. So this sentence is true. We will mark a tick on the true. Next sentence. The camel can roar loudly. Can he? Oh no. The lion roars. The camel does not roar. So this sentence is false. So the tick mark goes on F. Last sentence. Mr. Camel was proud of his hump. Was he? Yes, he was very proud of his hump. So this sentence is true. This was a tick mark. This sentence is true. This was the first exercise. Let's do another one of a different type. Who has what? Here you see a few sentences. You have to fill in the blanks given in the sentences. You have a box here and there are a few words given here. You have to choose the correct word and fill in the blanks. Let's read out the words in the boxes. Pouch, hump, trunk, long neck, mane and red beak. Okay, let's try filling out the sentences. The first sentence says, a parrot has a pouch? No. Hump? No. A trunk? No, no. Elephant has a trunk. A long neck? No, no. Parrot does not have a long neck. Mane? No. The lion has a mane. Red beak? Yes. A parrot has a red beak. So we'll fill in red beak. Red beak. Next sentence. A camel has a. What did he have? Yes, he had a hump. So we will fill in hump. H U M P. A camel has a hump. Next one. An elephant has a. Let's find out. Let's find out. Here. Yeah, trunk. An elephant has a trunk. T R U N K. An elephant has a trunk. Next one is. A giraffe has a what? Yes, a long neck. Let us fill in here. A giraffe has a long neck. Okay, there goes the fourth sentence. Next one. A lion has a what is left here? Oh, we know that. A lion has a Mane. So we fill a lion has a mane. M A N E. A lion has a mane. And the last sentence. A kangaroo has a. Only one word is left. Pouch. So a kangaroo has a pouch. Let's fill it here. P O U. C H. A kangaroo has a pouch. Very good. We've done our pronunciation drill. We've done our word meanings. We have read the lesson and understood it well. We've also done some exercises. Now, we have to find out what this lesson taught us. Did we learn anything from this lesson? Oh yes. This lesson taught us that all the creatures made by God are very, very special. They all have a special place in God's world. He has given all of us one or the other special quality. So we should never complain and never get disturbed. 